All right, folks, let's get straight into it. I want you to give me your short film ideas. Let's see, we'll start with Jake. Uh, my story is about this guy who falls in love with a girl. Uh, they meet on the first day of college and soon become best friends. And he finally decides to ask her out, but when he does, he finds out she has feelings for someone else. Uh, this leaves him heartbroken, uh, so he decides to kill himself. Hmm, very depressing, Jake. And I don't mean the Smiths kind of depressing. I mean, it's so bad, I want to commit suicide to avoid seeing it. Eddie, what have you got for me? Eddie! Eddie! Whoa, chill, Mr. Film Dude. Ugh. What's your idea, Edward? Man, it's Eddie. Only my mother calls me Edward. Mr. Film Dude sincerely apologizes. Now, what's your idea? Well... It's an exploration on the meaning of life. So it begins with an apple in black and white, and then it ends with the same apple, only this time it's in color. I'm confused. What's the significance of the apple? Well, you know how they say an apple a day keeps the doctor away? That got me thinking. What if apples are the key to true enlightenment? Oh. And my friend's gonna play a sitar for the soundtrack. It's gonna be super chill. Both my sight and hearing being simultaneously violated. Right on, dude. Chelsea, have you got something for me? Anything you want, Mr. Baxter. Excuse me? It's called anything you want, Mr. Baxter. Oh, I see. What's it about? A passionate love affair is sparked between a student and her teacher in a cafe one day after class. And where do you usually get your coffee? Starbucks. Caramel frappuccino with soy milk. It's like the best. Note to self. Never go to Starbucks. Sarah, what have you got? So, this girl's been going out with her boyfriend for two years and she thinks he's the perfect guy. But then one day she comes home from work and she finds him in bed with her best friend. For fuck's sake, we're going to Paris this Christmas. <laughs> I'm really disappointed, people. Does anyone have an interesting story for me? James. Well, the story I wrote is about a script writing class. There's this teacher that starts to lose his patience with the ideas that his students are pitching for short films. I'm really identifying with this premise. Go on. It ends with one of the characters turning to the camera and saying, story within a story. What's that I hear you say? Scriptception? <laughs> and what's with this fourth wall break? It's very Kevin Spacey of me, isn't it? Or maybe Matthew Broderick comes to mind? Well, I'm no Frank Underwood, and we obviously couldn't afford a Beatles song. But there's one thing I want you guys to know. Mr. Baxter writes erotic Twilight fan fiction in his spare time. So take his creative criticism with a pinch of salt. Hey, hey. That uh, Twilight thing isn't true, right? <laughs> I mean, that's pretty weird. Hey, sorry, I'm here for the Edward Cullen erotic play audition.